Hello, it's me, Sean on Skates, and I am back with another unboxing. Yay! All right, so today I'm going to be unboxing a pair of Rydell roller skates, and these were like my dream skates. They were my dream skates. I don't know what pair they would have counted for had I got them when I initially wanted them, but it's so funny because, um, when I started looking for them, I called Rydell and I was like, um, I don't even know what we had a conversation about. All I know is the lady said, if you want them, go ahead and order them. I guess they were on back order and stuff. And at the time they were $135 and it was like, I felt like that was too much money for a pair of skates. And here we are, what? six seven eight months later and it's like 135 dollars that's so cheap for a pair of skates so um all this time they were on back order she told me to order them then maybe a week or two later you just never could get these particular pair of skates like they weren't even on back order you just you just couldn't get them i don't i don't know how to explain that but every time i went on their site it wasn't an option to buy them in any form or fashion so it was like oh i'll never have them now um i found them i found them at a great price they are brand new i love them i think i love them i don't love them quite because they're not quite the look i wanted what happened was when i looked on their site and i will insert a picture i saw a picture and at that moment in my life my favorite color was orange like over a couple a couple of weeks or months i had decided that my favorite color was going to be orange so they had orange wheels and then they had the little um orange metal thing on it and i just thought that that was the cutest look so i wanted those skates didn't order when the lady told me to order them and then it was just like you'll never get a pair and then I stumbled across these in my size. Amazing deal. And I'm really excited to share these with you. So these are the Rydell. And then I didn't really know. I knew Rydell was good. But it wasn't until I got those Rydell waves and even the Moxie skates that I realized that Rydell is probably just the standard for skates. The standard. I'll say that for a good skate. So I like Rydell. Right there is like the Timberland of skates. I'll say that. You know, you got Timberland boots and you just know they're going to be good. You don't have any quality issues or questions about it. You just know. They're Timberlands. They're good. All right. Now, I'm looking at them now. These are not my dream skates only because they do not have the orange wheels. And the wheels that they have are so far from orange that it's making me feel some kind of way. But I can get the orange wheels. So I'm trying to just look past that. So these are the 111. Um, I don't know what that stands for, but they're one of the cheaper versions of Rydell. But I got them, finally. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Once again, the, green, the wheels are green. Like... The, the color that I'm seeing on this screen is so muted. These wheels are so loud and so green. I don't know what's going on with the coloring um, um, through this video, but these wheels are so neon green. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, once again, Rydell, Rydell is killing it. They're just killing it. Here we go with that that beautiful space from here to here and from here to here. And I think because these are um, women's skates, the last ones that I had, the waves, they were men's skates and they probably had even more space from here to here. But it, the, the proportions are so right. That's what I love about Rydell skates is that their proportions are so right. So you see this, it's not orange, but it, it is orange. With some orange wheels that would just set this off i'm gonna put that picture in there because when i saw that picture of those skates i was like that that is just so cute i want to look like that um so i'm pulling on the tongue i don't know why but yeah 
So these don't have the aluminum plates. But whatever kind of plates these have, they seem sturdy enough for anything that I want to do. Um, trucks look good. I don't know what else to say. They're Rydell. Beautiful construction. Don't have any complaints there. Um, I particularly don't care for the fake wood but fake wood um we call these soles on wheels i go for this though because it's dark and the gradation is that what the word is i don't know the different colors between the little layers or fake layers or whatever it's just it's not bothering me i have another pair of um jackson vista and i i can't stomach that fake fake wood look so i actually took some nail polish remover and removed all of that and i painted over it with a black sharpie only did it to one so far so we'll see what else i'm going to do with that but i just i can't stand that fake wood look when payless was around i couldn't stand it it's just a personal pet peeve i can't stand but because this is so dark um i'm okay with this and like i said once i get them orange wheels and they are spinning straight out the box so i'm really i probably should i just don't like this look i guess i don't feel like orange and green go together well so i'm definitely i'm just gonna have to change them i can use these wheels for something else so these are 85a they have a little softness to them um i've never had zen sonar wheels before but i know that i want the orange ones so i don't think i really need to say it again but i'm gonna have to get them orange wheels <laughs> all right this is nice um i did a, a, a unboxing of some other skates and i'm just going to compare these two real quick because um i really respect these skates even though they're cheap and lower end model skates i do have great respect for these skates so let's compare these two so these are the roller derby cruise zoom out a little bit so we can get both of them into the shot and my recording yeah um how did i do that oh it's doing god already let me just back up a little bit so these are the roller derby crews and just like i said in my original video i like these because they have such a small profile but i they they do stand a little taller i think Maybe a smidge taller than the um, Rydell. But, I mean, they're kind of neck and neck a little bit. I don't know. It's something about the shape of these that I really am attracted to. I, I guess, yeah, I like curves. And you see, but you see, this is a straight line. And here we go again. This is a nice curve it's just those little touches here's a curve here's a curve they're there but i think it's like a subliminal type thing i don't know this is a straight edge and you got the curve on the back but so what i think these are comparable maybe perhaps because these aren't leather either these are vinyl too so you have these for 135 dollars and you have these for probably 50 60 dollars I would tell somebody, unless you're just a person like me who is like crushing on Rydell, get the roller derbies. Get the roller derby skates. Because I'm crushing on these. But I just, these were my like dream pair of skates. And when they became available, I just had to have them because now $135 just doesn't seem like so much money. You know, I've become rich doing YouTube videos and stuff. So now I can afford things like that. It's like I'm just playing. <laughs> with my 63 subscribers and I still can't get a thousand views on anything I don't care I still love my skates I love the 63 subscribers that I have I want to say thank you if you like this video you like roller skates please like subscribe comment let me know what do you what are your favorite skates because I love Rydell I just I just I think they have it going on, but Roller Derby is really starting to grow on me, and I have some surprises coming up for y'all. So stay tuned. Um, keep having fun. 
and i can't wait to see you in the next video.